It's hard. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I know, but that's why we support this. Like. Support this. So like that is like kind of point of reference from the movie coming to America because a lot of African Americans make reference to that when they think Africa. So we want to take that and do a spin on it, do something fresh with it. Yeah. First world job. Exactly. So now my thing is like I'm hearing that and I'm hearing strings as well. I don't know if the horns that were playing there like. Is it like or someone one of the like um kind of like what's the thing man? Um orchestral kind of vibes or is it two horns? Um I don't know like how, what were you hearing there? No, we you know, it's, 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 French, it's yeah. all French horns. Is well. it? But we can do it, we can we can see. Let's see what okay. we're gonna try, let's see what we can get to. Alright, cool. So for now we, we can play it as well, yeah. you know? We can put all right, cool. The big thing, the big thing there is you've got sections, you've got trombone section, yeah. which is yeah. three playing three different parts, you've got yeah. trumpets playing three different parts. Yeah. So you you're already now at six different voices, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then that's cool, we can do that we can do it. So let's let's get on the Maybe the, maybe the unison, the first part can be ba 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 ba, and then just ba ba ba, then harmonize maybe. Yeah. yeah okay. Let's both play that line anyway then. Okay. We can harmonize. Okay, okay, cool. So just move us to a different section of the song. Right, cool. Can be the next section. Okay. Yeah. Everybody's a beast in the studio. Quick, like he's one of those like yo. So uh, you have a verse. Okay, let me just work on the track. Just hit the track. The track is blowing me away. At the same time, he wants me to work on some shit. While I'm busy writing my verse, he's like recording his verse. When he's done with his verse, he's recording chorus, whatever. Yo, what's next? And even like the guy that he's working with, those like Pro Tools guys, we're just very quick with it, you know? I, I record my verse. After I record my verse, he records another verse. He's like, yo, what's, I need one more. I'm like, dude, like one more, like I thought, this guy's a beast, you know? So they told me that like, uh, you can actually do like one of my four or five songs a day. If we structure our thing properly, yes. like, without working and mixing, whatever, you know what I'm saying? So, um, this single um, is that catapults to that world shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, Raheem, um, Raheem has been talking about doing this whole Canada, uh, Europe, Australia thing. Um, He's right. Us getting on that bandwagon as well, you know, and also like getting into the continent, Senegal. I really want to yes. do like Senegal, you know, yes. but with the band as well, you know, like we need to present ourselves as a slight element, you know. Um, shit, I think it's gonna be proper, proper, yeah. <laughs> so, on this section now, where um, there's a solo. I'm thinking that you guys could maybe also solo with it to work the game. Yeah, back Um, right back TV. Okay. So we're just interviewing for the making of uh, Ayoba Yo. It's gonna be our next single. I played it for some guys, man, and it got feedback from Miami, yo. But wow. so I see that blind wow. now, you know. So wow. we're definitely taking it on tour, and yeah. it's my new single. Yeah. Uh, after Gajela, obviously, you know what I'm saying, Gajela's like got some nice traction, but Ayoba is going to be the new shit. It's, yeah. it's myself, yeah. guys, DJ Bucks, uh, we've got some really crazy guys yeah. on production with this one. <laughs> so, yeah, I can't wait for people to come out. So, like that. Yeah. Let's get scared there, yeah, no, I'm okay. Mpo, I don't know, have you met Bucks yeah. before? No. Mpo, um, this is Bucks, uh, DJ Bucks, this is Mpo. I did a track, actually, I met her, um, a track uh, we did this weekend, right? Yeah, check your highness speaker, what is your F? What's a high M? Not there, bro. 
Pain, you know what I'm saying? So, um, I can't wait for people to hear you. Uh, Buxel and is a vocalist, got a gift. Uh, tonight we came together, um, the entire production team for the drum album. We've been working on this new single called Ayobayo, um, featuring DJ Bucks, uh, who's done stuff with uh, Huru and a couple of other musicians. And uh, it's just something so uh, so organic, so unexpected, you know. Um, it's, it's just so fresh to the ear, you know, and I can't wait for people to hear it. Um, it's just fire in the booth. We've brought in musicians now to kind of like reinforce the song. We've brought in like, um, like horn sections. We've brought in... Um, a vocalist kind of like emphasize the song uh, with a guitarist earlier on as well bassist it's just sounding like yeah, to do I mean I was asking the guys here like it's sounding really nice. Nice. yeah yeah inspired you to bring yeah. Yeah, I think what inspires the instrumentation is the fact that I perform live anyway. You know, people always try to to say like, ah, you know, we don't want you on that jazz tip. We want you to perform with a DJ vibe, you know. But nowadays you could give people still the same hip hop feel, the thump that people like with a live um, with a live uh, band behind you, you know. Um, so um, I really want people to know me now as a world musician, you know. I do Motoko music. Motoko music is essentially Setswana music. Uh, it's a Setswana word which means fusion. So it's fusion music. I mean, I'm, inf I'm a fusician, you know, and um, I want to be known uh, for that. I'm not just um, a hip hop artist. I don't just do quiet. I don't just do hip hop. Um, whatever it is, like I, I kind of fuse everything together. If it's organic and it sounds great and the world loves it and it moves with it, it's got a groove. I jump on it, you know. Uh, we've got some really great names uh, on the album, but I pride myself in the fact that we're working with a lot of unknowns um, because when you get an unknown feel, you know, it, it's like uh, hip hop producers always talk about how they dig into crates looking for that sound or that song to sample. When you go out there looking for talent that's raw, that nobody sees, you know. Um, you have something that nobody else has. It's, it's so authentic. Um, you can't just um, phone a record label or a manager and just try to put it together. People have to like figure out where in Malawi did you have to go to get these people? Like they have to like, I mean, for them to even reach the people that I know, they have to like know what Buandilos is. They need to know what Area 12 is. They need to know so many things, you know. So um, they need to know what Mpewa is, you know. Um, so. Um, I'm just like, you know, loving the fact that I'm working with new guys, BFB from Malawi, I'm working with D1 as well. I'm working with uh, Lindelani, um, a young brother, uh, who I met through another brother called Sia, who's the guy who really like got the fire back inside me. Uh, shout out to Sia. Um, and then Kevin Provoke, also from Kenya. I'm working with Omar as well from the Washington DC. And obviously like, you know, Tasman is also in the building, Speaker is in the building. Um, and yeah, there's a lot of other great features that I really don't want to say much about. You know, hey, we'll see like, us. Like, I mean, <laughs> we're doing this like dope session, and all of a sudden, you know, like, you know, you're like, hey, uh, this thing here, yeah, Instagram, really tweets about the live video. Guys, I'm recording with Kwa So, yeah, we have to be careful what we put out there, you know, but yeah, expect some good stuff, man. I don't know, like there's just this celebratory thing, you know, uh, uh, across the diaspora around the world, you know, and the Black Panther movie just kind of set this ripple effect uh, across the world. And Rahim is very keen about doing this collaborative album. And it's always these side projects that like really just come out of nowhere that are the ones that like, you know, stand out. This could be a Grammy um, on our hands. This could actually be, even be an Oscar, you know, so to have the caliber musicians we have on this album, it's a real honor, you know, because when you look back, history will kind of, you know, agree with me when they say like, you know, sometimes like time, time is the only thing that can like, you know, create classics, you know, and yeah, something like this could only come with time, man. Mutimo only knows you the reason I'm fasting. I'm like, what? Like dude, immediately I know for real. Like she's gonna change this time. Yeah. Uh no, blame. He's gonna change like and uh
like imagine the out the nakanang the way you nakanang kating, but they are not saying anything. Yeah, tires do cry. Tires do cry. Please. Ah, 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 yeah, we didn't hear shit. You didn't hear shit. He opened up. And then next thing, when we open the door, it's there. It's there. I'm like, what the fuck? You know what? The thing is, like, it's crazy. He was. 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 We get taken by the first take. So how long did you have to spend in the mines to find a piece of diamonds? I mean, I don't know. Oh, come I mean, on. Yo, man, real talk, it just kind of fell in our lap, man, real you talk. You guys are just, shit. Yeah, it just really <laughs> fell in our lap. Like, I, I don't know how it happened, but it was beautiful, man. Like, I felt that. I felt that a lot. I felt that a lot. <laughs> yeah, phrasings are beautiful. Oh, come you, on, guys. Yeah, you guys like exactly Yeah, the way you resolve. You can tell the, yeah. the skill of a singer from the way they begin and end the notes. Mm. Can you time? guys? You guys? Okay, can I, I just hear? hear? Yeah, let me hear it. How y'all doing? Uh, my name is Lee. I'm from uh, a lot of places. Uh, <laughs> I'm one of the co-producers in uh, Project's upcoming album, Drum. Um, so I'm here to help with different things, arrangements, you know, some pianos, some, some niche and some nosh, you know. But uh, I believe in it. I think he's going to do really well and buy the album. You're going to love it. <laughs> so so what, what's going to be different with this, with this album? With this album, I think, um, I think Jabba, he's really, he's really evolved. You know, you can you can tell musically and personally he's he's seen a lot more and, and done a lot more and as a result I feel like that's the reason why he has a lot more to offer right now. So um, you can expect the unexpected over here, but one thing's for sure, you're gonna love every track. He's put his heart and soul, blood, sweat and tears, and he made sure we all did the same. <laughs> so um, trust is gonna it's gonna be as good as all of his previous releases and I might even say perhaps even better. I think this is gonna be one of his biggest ones. Definitely. I mean, it's sounding very musical, man. I mean, it's a trombone player. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think that's that was that's where I came in. I was really adamant about the live the live aspect for this album. He uh, brought me in a, late last year, and when we were still in the conceptualization of everything, and we were trying to figure out, okay, what direction do we want to go? We want to do something that's modern but still sticks to an ethnic background. You know, something like a modernized African sound, so to speak. Um, so the first thing I thought was, man, let's let's bring some brothers who can play. You know, they can they can they can really give that life to everything. And um, the great thing was that he was open to it. He was open to experiment and to try new things. 
And as you can see, it's sounding great, man. It's kicking. Why did you insist on the instrumentation? The reason I insisted on it is because there's a whole realm to be explored over there. Um, Jabba has access to a long list of excellent producers and a long list of excellent musicians, and he shares that position with many other uh, people in his in his in his status. But strangely enough, we don't really take advantage of the fact that we have excellent artists and excellent session musicians as well in this country. So um, I think that he decided to take this opportunity to do it. We bounce the ideas around and. You know, sometimes you don't want to talk too much, you just got to do it. <laughs> you know, when I was in high school, we went to go watch this movie called Showgirls. It was like a... Oh, yeah, with Devon, you know? Yeah. Oh, I went in and we, you know, we told people we were 18 so and everything, you know? We were all 18, went in there. I thought the storyline was in Yeah, the, the, the storyline was, was like... Was yeah. So anyway, uh, just before the movie starts, all sitting there like, Oh, yeah, we made it. <laughs> <laughs> just before the lights go dark, Asha walks down. Sorry guys, you have to come out. Yeah. Go, Why though? Like, we're 18. He's like, what year were you born? We're like, 19. What? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yeah. Yeah. Get the fuck out. <laughs> We need to like mix those what? things. Mix those voices so they come out so we can hear them. The, yeah. So we started <laughs> You started later than it's supposed to be. Yeah, metronome also. Yeah. Let me show you this. We need a metronome man. Like, come here. <laughs> the song I was supposed to, to start yeah, in here. Can't you count us like four bars before? Yeah, this is four bars already. Okay, two. It takes two bars. Alright, cool. We'll do count two bars. Yeah, two bars. Yeah. One. So I get the Mola Bain, thank you guys for coming out. Rabba get that you know what time it is, man. Right back at you. Ciao man singanga one time.